What is up, guys? Turn left. Escape your cubicle here. Today, it is Tuesday, Las Vegas, Nevada. And where are we going? Where are we heading? It is In 12 half noon. A mile, exit right. Stop interrupting. It's 12 noon. Where are we headed? Uh, well, we're not Ubering. Uh, we did a couple of Ubers uh, this morning and made about 40 bucks. I should have gotten up earlier. We're headed to the ASD Market Week trade show. I don't know if it's really called Market Week trade show, but it's the ASD trade show here in Las Vegas. It started on Sunday, goes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I believe. Um, tomorrow's the last day. Tomorrow, the show ends at about 3.30. They always end them a little bit early on the last day. So I wanted to go today. Show is open till 6. I don't think I'm going to stay till 6 o'clock, but I will stay as long as my feet allow me to. I get tired walking around those show floors, um, trade show floors, because they are huge. And this is a giant show. It's very big. Thousands of distributors, wholesalers for people that sell online. For In people, one mile, keep left. For people that, I'm turning her down. Thousands and thousands of distributors and wholesalers and manufacturers for anyone that sells online or if you have a retail store uh, or if you're even um, a distributor. There is just a huge spectrum of different types of products, prices, vendors, suppliers. And so it's a really cool show to walk around and get ideas or make contacts, uh, go talk to people, collect business cards and catalogs, and then figure it out. It's all for wholesale. No retail. It's not for you to go in there and purchase things for yourself uh, personally. It's only for people that want to purchase the products and resell them, either online or in a store. To get into the trade show, all you need really is uh, something that shows you're a business, either a business license or even I think you can use like a fictitious business name, um, a little cheap website, business cards. Uh, I, I don't even remember. I didn't even verify. I went to it once, and once you go to it once... Uh, you can basically go to it um, again, so we're in. It doesn't cost anything as long as you register uh, before the show starts. If you go up to the show on site with your information to register and get in, they're gonna charge you $40. So just a heads up if you're gonna go to the show in the future. Do it ahead of time, it's free. Um, if you're just going to walk the show and whatever. So twofold, we're going there to just check it out. Get some video. Um, for the channel, for the vlog, uh, and then also to, I gotta drive here, just mingle around, talk to distributors, and try to make some contacts, you know, and um, exchange some business cards, hopefully, you know, if somebody, if there's a business and something comes up where it seems appropriate, I can give them my card, and we'll see, if something comes of it, that's awesome, if nothing comes of it, uh, that's fine as well. Um, so let's head down to the show. Right now we are on the 95 South. We're going to try to park at the Westgate Hotel and Casino because, and I'm suspicious. I mean suspicious. I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit suspicious of whether or not it's true or not. I saw online it says parking is free at the Westgate. It wasn't a trade show ad, but it was a different advertisement uh, specifically for the Westgate. It said free parking. I don't know because I know the Westgate Hotel and Casino is fairly close to the convention center, so we could park at Westgate and just walk over to the convention, to the show, if possible, because the parking at the convention center is definitely gonna charge, probably 10 bucks a car. I don't wanna pay. Um, so we'll see if we can get around it. We should be there in, what does the navigation say, 11 minutes. I screwed up. Got off the wrong exit because I was talking into the phone. Now we're stuck in this. Free parking. But now we got a little bit of a little bit of a walk ahead of us to get over to the convention center. We 
you gotta walk all the way the other side of the west gate.
I just got back to the car. Hopefully you can hear me. I got the air conditioning blasting on full blast because it is hot. Woo! I'm used to it being in the 60s out here in Vegas for the last couple months and now it's starting to get hot. It's only March, but it's starting to warm up already. And inside that trade show, man, it doesn't help. They don't have the AC working right in there. Or it's just too big to cool down proper. It might just be too big of a space to cool down proper. I don't know, but it is kind of hot and stuffy in there. Kind of gross. Lots of people. Sweat. So, I only lasted about three hours. Um... Talked to a handful of people, gave them my cards, but I got this little baby right here. Anyway, these books here, these are pretty full of, uh, of vendors and stuff, so I got these books with uh, listing all different businesses so I can hit them up. I can hit them up, I can look them up online, uh, see if I can make connections with them. So that's gonna do it. Um, I'm on my way back to Mission Control, I think now. I'm gonna go home. I might even kick the AC on inside the uh, old condo there. But um, look through some stuff, figure out what is to do next. But um, thank you for watching this video. Um, we will see what happens next. Back to some Uber tomorrow and some business prospecting out in the field around Las Vegas, Nevada. Just trying to survive out here. Doing okay, but got to do better. Always working for um, improvements. And, um, but loving the freedom. I'm not sitting in a cubicle, that's for sure. And I'm liking that. So, thanks again for watching, you guys. Uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And um, I will see you next time.